Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install the latest version of Oracle Java JDK on your Ubuntu operating system. So first of all, we are going to check whether Java is installed on our Ubuntu operating system or not. So for that, we need to open the terminal. So you can just click on these uh, dots here and then search for the terminal or you can press Control alt t to open a new terminal. Then you just uh, need to give this command, which is java hyphen hyphen version here. Now, if it gives you the version of Java in the output, then Java is installed on your Ubuntu operating system. And if it gives you this kind of output, which I'm seeing here, which is command Java is not found, but can be installed with these commands, then Java is not installed and Ubuntu is suggesting us the versions of Java, which we can install on the Ubuntu operating system. Now, as you can see here, we don't want to install the open JDK version of Java. We want to install the Oracle Java JDK, right? So if you are interested in installing the open JDK uh, Java version, then you can uh, give one of these commands. So if you want to install the Java JDK version eight for open JDK, you can give uh, this command for 11, you can give this command. Then you have the 13 version, 14 version. Uh, nowadays, the 15 version is also available for the latest version of Ubuntu uh, operating system. So we are not interested in installing the open JDK. We are interested in installing the Oracle Java JDK. So let's see how we can install this. So for that, you need to open your favorite browser and then search for download Oracle JDK. And the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com forward slash Java. So just click on this link. I'm going to put this link in the description of this video also, so you can directly uh, come to this website. At the time of making this video, Java SE 15 is the latest version of Java. So we are going to uh, download and install this version. So you can uh, directly see uh, this link which says JDK download. So I'm going to just click on this uh, link. And then uh, when you will uh, just uh, scroll down here, you will be able to see uh, different packages for different operating systems. So the file we are interested in is this file, which is for Linux x64 Debian package, which is this file. So I'm going to just click on this file and then click on the checkbox and then click on download button, which is going to start the download of this file on my Ubuntu operating system. So just wait for this file to download. It's around 155 megabyte file. So now once this uh, .deb file is downloaded, I'm going to minimize my browser and then I'm going to go to my terminal once again. Let me uh, clear the terminal and then I'm going to uh, CD to my downloads uh, directory where my downloaded file is there. So I'm going to just do ls. You can see this uh, .deb file is there. So in order to install Java using this .deb file, you just need to give this command which is sudo dpkg and then hyphen i and the name of the file which is JDK 15.0.2. So I'm going to give this command. I'm going to give my Ubuntu's password and then press enter, which is going to start the installation of uh, Java JDK on my Ubuntu operating system. So just wait for the installation to complete. So once that's done, we need two more commands and these commands are these two commands. I'm going to provide all these commands in the description of this video also so you can directly copy and paste these commands so the first command is this one which is sudo update hyphen alternative space hyphen hyphen install forward slash user bin java space java user lib jvm and here you need to provide the location of your java JDK 15 folder. So let's uh, give this command and it's going to give you uh, this error because we have installed 
the JDK 15.0.2 version. So it's going to create this directory and not this directory. So let's ls to uh, this user lib jvm directory. So ls uh, user lib jvm and you can see we have jdk-15.0.2 directory and not this directory. So just replace this directory name with this one and you will be good to go. So I'm going to just replace this uh, directory name with 15.0.2 here and then give this command and it's going to work fine. Same, I'm going to copy the next command for the Java C, right? So this command is for the Java C, right? So I'm going to just copy uh, this command, change the directory name, which is JDK-15.0.2 and then press enter and everything is done. So let me clear the terminal and we are going to just give the Java hyphen hyphen version command now. And once you press enter, you will see that Java 15.0.2 is installed on our Ubuntu operating system. You can also give Java C command to check the Java C version, which will be same, which is 15.0.2. So now at this point, everything is working and now you are good to go. Let's say you want to set the Java home environment variable also for your Java installation. So for that, let me clear the terminal once again. And first of all, I recommend you to just uh, use this command, which is sudo update hyphen alternatives space hyphen hyphen config Java. It's going to give you the location for your Java installation folder. You can see here, right? So if you are confused, you can always use this command to change between different version of Java. If you have installed different versions of Java on your Ubuntu operating system, this command is going to help you to switch between those versions also, okay? So now at this point, what we are going to do, we are going to add this path as the Java home environment variable. So for that, you need to add it a file which is called etc profile file. So you can use any editor of your choice, Vim, Nano. I generally use uh, gedit to edit the file because it's uh, relatively simple for me, let's say. So I'm going to just open this file, which is called uh, etc profile file. And then it's going to open this file like this. So at the end of this file, what you need to do, you need to just type java underscore home all in capital and without any space and then equals and then you need to just copy the path of your java jdk folder until the version you don't need to include bin forward slash java directory right so i'm going to just copy this and then paste this path here once you are done just Control S to save your file and then you can now exit from your gedit uh, editor. Now in order to uh, just update all the parts, you just need to give this command which is uh, source and then forward slash etc profile. Okay, so it's going to update all the source Paths. So now once you give this command, you can just uh, see the value of your uh, Java home by using this uh, command, which is echo dollar Java underscore home. And it's going to give you the path of this environment variable, which is the path of your JDK directory. So now let's develop a very simple Java program and see if uh, everything is working in terms of compilation and execution of the program. So for that, what I'm going to do is, let's say I'm in my home folder. You can just CD to the folder where you want to create your project. So I'm going to just uh, create a, a directory called, uh, let's say work, okay? And I'm going to CD to this work directory and then I'm going to 
uh, create a file which is called hello.java uh, file and once this file is created you can see this file is created inside this directory so I'm going to use uh, g edit to just open this file in the editor and once uh, this file is opened in the editor and here you can write a very simple um, hello world program in Java you can find this program anywhere on internet so just uh, write this uh, program save your file and then uh, go to your terminal once again and once you have this program you just need to give this command which is Java C and the name of your um, file which is hello.java uh, one thing to notice here is that your class name and the file name should be same so in this case my class name is hello and my uh, file name is hello.java right and then just give this command this command is going to compile your program and generate this uh, file which is called hello.class this is the binary file which you can use to run your program so you can just use now the java command and then hello uh, so you just need to uh, give the name you don't need to give the extension dot class for your program so, so just give java hello and it's going to print uh, the hello world or whatever program you want to execute using this java command so this is how you can download and install Java on your Ubuntu operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.